Uh, and welcome to this video uh, where I'm going to show you the concept of uh, the knowledge pyramid uh, and also how you can use the knowledge pyramid to explain the differences between uh, what AI can do for you and what IT can do for you. Okay, so let's get started uh, with the knowledge pyramid. Um, the knowledge pyramid consists of uh, four different layers. Or basically what it does is uh, explain to you um, how you can enrich uh, information uh, and data uh, uh, on those four different levels. So it's a hierarchy. It, in the beginning or in the bottom layer is data. Data is uh, unstructured data uh, that is just uh, numbers without any units uh, or, or anything on it at that point. So anybody just looking at data in its raw form will have a very uh, difficult time extracting real value out of it because it's unclear um, what it's used for and what it's meant. Uh, so you need to do something with data to work with it. And what you need to do is you need to convert data to information. So that's what happens in the second layer, where you have information. Information is structured data. So it means that, uh, for instance, you put unit on. If what you're looking into is weather data, then in the data layer, layer you would have 21. Uh, and in the information layer, you would have 21 degrees or uh, centuries or Fahrenheit and so on. So you would know... Uh, a bit more about what the, the, the data or information, <clears throat> what it means and what it can be used for. And then you have a layer on top of that, which is called uh, the knowledge layer. And in the knowledge layer, then you apply um, actions to the information. So for instance, again, let's say the 21 degrees uh, was the weather temperature measurement. Then on the knowledge level, you would know, okay, I'm going out uh, today. Uh, the weather outside is 21 degrees. Uh, it's okay for me to wear a t-shirt because it's not that cold. Uh, and then on top of the knowledge layer is wisdom, where you have reflection. Because um, you can also uh, make actions um, based upon the information and the knowledge you have. Because if you know that it's 21 degrees, but you can also see that it's quite windy from the weather temperatures that you have. So you know that it's probably going to rain in a while because it's always going to be windy before it's, got, it's starting to, uh, to rain. So you take some actions accordingly, for instance, uh, take out uh, your furniture from, from the terrace in your house and so on, whatever is necessary for you to prepare for a, a rainy day, if that's the case. So that's the wisdom layer. So there's four different elements and so on that explains uh, the hierarchy of uh, knowledge in such a pyramid. And that, of course, is interesting in itself, but it's a, a tool that can be used to explain the difference between what uh, information technology, uh, meaning uh, IT, uh, and what AI can do for you. Because <coughs> on the top level uh, is AI. AI makes decisions uh, upon knowledge, um, and, and that means that it's uh, founded in the top layer of uh, the layer. Uh, decisions are made by uh, experience, reason and knowledge and it's something that looks forward uh, like the example with, with the t-shirt yes, yes, it's okay, take this action, take the t-shirt on or yes, uh, we assume that uh, it's going to rain, take appropriate actions so they, those are knowledge based and those look forward and the uh, second uh, element is the IT level uh, IT stands for information technology so it's technology that's based upon information. And all the decisions you make that are IT-based uh, is something that looks backward, historically. Um, we have this information, uh, based upon this, we make some uh, deductions about uh, how we think the world is. Uh, we have seen that it's going to rain every Tuesday, so we think maybe it's going to rain uh, this Tuesday as well, because uh, uh, that's what the information told us. Uh, it, it used to be like that. So information and IT is based upon something that has happened, uh, where um, AI is, is based upon actions that you assume is going to happen. So that's the big difference between uh, uh, conceptually uh, what IT is and what uh, AI is. So I hope that makes sense uh, for you, and uh, it's I think it's a good tool uh, to help you understand uh, the foundation conceptually of where AI is compared to where uh, IT is um, from an information point of view.
So that's it. If you need uh, more information about this topic, then I, I suggest you go into our website, cognifirm.com, and uh, browse around. We have a lot of uh, articles around this area, or you can also go into a YouTube channel where there's also a lot of videos uh, that relates to uh, what you can use uh, IT for, what you can use AI for, um, if those areas have your interest. I hope it makes sense to you for what I just explained to you. Um, that's it. Thanks.